Hey guys, welcome back to Cribs Subnautica Below Zero Edition, episode 7. 7 bases, 7 episodes for Below Zero. I'm sure this looks very familiar too. We are in the Twisty Bridges base and zone. Now, I just did this video. Um, this episode, you guys... If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Link in the description below for the full playlist and the original series full playlist. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I would love some feedback on any and all my bases and videos. Let me know what you guys think. Good or bad, I'll take the criticism. <laughs> so, um, yeah. If you guys haven't seen the last episode, I suggest you go see it. Um, it's a pretty cool base. I'm just going to give you a quick glimpse of it now. Um, there it is. There's a lot to it, but that's not what we're here for. We're here for the Twisty Bridges Deep Base. Now, I said this last time, I'll say it again. I built, I successfully built a way connecting the two bases together. So from this top portion, the regular Twisty Bridges, all the way down, like, I don't know, three, 400 meters to the Twisty Bridges Deep so it's a complete connection you can walk to it um, and it was very very tricky to do so again I'll just show you guys the whole entire journey now I did put observatories at different spots um, different because there's some cool views along the way so I figured you know take the scenic route if I was actually doing this coming down all these uh, all these ladders I would definitely be taking my time and Pacing myself and you know sitting and relaxing and looking at all the cool views now I showed this in the last video as well but I'm just gonna do a quick walkthrough this is like basically the midpoint area so it's a very very mini base um, very very many there's just uh, the necessities storage a storage room with all my storages and then this room here has crafting and charging and you can get out here um, and you know, collect stuff. This is basically like midpoint. So like up there is the regular base. And then if you look down, 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 it's a very, very topsy twisty Terry, but we did make a connection. So let's go back in and show you guys the Twisty Bridges Deep. Now the Twisty Bridges Deep is a pretty cool zone, but it's actually kind of creepy. Very creepy. Now here, here we go, Twisty Bridges Deep, and it's very topsy twisty turvy, guys. Just giving you a heads up. I had to work with what I had, and it was very, very, very tough. Now, this portion right here that we're at right now is basically the border of regular Twisty Bridges and the border of the Twisty Bridges Deep. It's the, the legit border of the two zones. Well, this could be, you know, it's two zones. I mean, Twisty Bridges, Twisty Bridges Deep. So let's keep going. And now we're actually in the Twisty Bridges Deep, like at the start of it anyway. The mouth of Twisty Bridges Deep. Again, I built observatories at different uh, levels so you could see. Now, I believe this next is just a straight shot. This next ladder down is a complete straight shot into our Twisty Bridges Deep base. So here we go. Yep, it is a straight shot. We were lucky enough to build in a way that we hit a nice open gap. So, here we are. Twisty Bridges uh, Deep Base. I'll start off by uh, going straight ahead into the mess hall. Now again, this base has everything that the top portion has. I wanted to make it uh, basically similar in that aspect. Same rooms anyway. But this one's so, 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 you know, not symmetrical at all. <laughs> at all so our sea truck's still down here for when we were um, streaming and building this uh, base so I stream every day on twitch guys if you want to come by and and say hi come chat with me feel free to uh, I built an observatory right above my moon pool just because there's some cool views down here like I said it's a pretty cool zone but at the same time it's very very creepy and I'm not gonna give much away about what's down here threat wise but let me just tell you it's creepy what's down here so that's what makes it super creepy so just uh I always love building 
you know, a table and give it some nice view when you're sitting in the mess hall. So, yep, yeah, just my, just a humble, you know, mess hall. Nothing too extravagant. So, and again, with the, with the moon pool, I'll go to the moon pool real quick just to show you. Here's the way out, and also you can use the moon pool to get out too. Um, so just, there's nothing special about it, just a place to dock, charge, repair, dump if I need to, and some cool views. Misty Bridges Deep Views. Creepy but cool. If we go back up, show you the main portion of our base. Which I'm sure you heard it, and the humming. You know, is it just me, or do I mean, do you guys like that hum? I, I kind of like it. For some reason, reason it's kind of soothing. I may just be weird. I'm sure you guys already know by now that I'm weird. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know I'm weird, but that's okay. Uh, power room. Reactor room. I was debating whether to call it power room or reactor room. Uh, in some of my videos, in some of my bases, I did call it reactor room. Call it power room with an A. Power. Power room. Now down here there are lots of vents. There are lots of vents, but some of them aren't that hot. Like I have a couple, but they're only uh, 40 C. Not that hot. Well, I mean that's hot, but you know if you're thinking about like normally. When you put it down a thermal reactor, it's like 70. So we go up to the crafting room here. Now I really like this crafting room above all my others, just because it's like, I don't know, it feels like more optimized, more neat. I have all my stuff there, my charging station. Um, I can easily get to my lockers here. That. Now, we go straight ahead is the command center. The command center. If you guys didn't know, you could change the base uh, color, the base name. You can change, um, you can turn off different sections here. So if you want to conserve power or you don't want lights on somewhere, you can turn off the power. It also shows time and structural integrity and the power status. So it's a pretty useful room. I really like it. I'm so glad that they added it. Uh, also, you can use. Um, use it as a beacon so you don't need to put beacons anymore you just use the uh, command center scanner room I always like to put the scanner room next to the command center just because it feels like those two would go together so yeah it's a pretty weird zone look at this look how tight space that was it was super hard guys for me to do this connection but we did it and it doesn't seem like a lot of work you know me quickly going through it but let me tell you it was a lot of work making this connection uh, but that's what I like to I make like making long connections long-lasting connections so let's go down to the bower room I'll go straight ahead now on your right if you look on your right you will see a containment a containment tower uh, it is what it says it is it's legit just containment tower I always like to have containment towers so what I'm gonna do first though is go to this other tower and then we'll make our way that way so captain's quarters tower <laughs> and I did put a uh, another view in here just because it's really cool really cool cool but creepy if anybody, any of you have been down here You'll understand why I think it's really creepy. You will understand. If you don't understand, just wait till you get down here. You will understand. So, Captain's Quarters, again, nothing too fancy. Fish tank, a storage, um, you know, desk. I do what I gotta do. Some music. There's some pretty cool views here. Like, I mean, look at that. That's really cool. I wish we could, you know, cut it and plant it ourselves and get like a mini version. How cool would a mini version of an oxygen plant be? Like just have a grow bed full of mini oxygen plants. That'd be super cool. Please, developers, make something like that. <laughs> make more plants. I really like planting and doing different types of gardens inside and outside. I really love doing that. So sick bay. First level here. Um, just your basic stuff. You have your physician's desk, you know counter to do uh, you know experiments or whatever um, you know wash your hands before you treat the patients 
two patients max capacity. I have done uh, sick bays where it's like three, three beds, but uh, I think two is a nice number. That way you can put more decorations. Uh, I put a speaker here for since upstairs is a is a jukebox. I figured, hey, you know what? Music heals. Music can help here. So so can uh, you know uh, flowers and plants can help. So just your basic uh, sick bay, and then if you go down, we have the greenhouse another greenhouse again as pretty much the same stuff as all my other greenhouses you know one of each type of uh, fruit different kinds of plants in the planters wall planters and whatnot just your basic average stuff now I really like um, these hanging fruit just because they look so cool they're mainly I mainly like them for looks because what I usually use for food and for sustenance is the melon the melon because it gives you a decent amount of water and a decent amount of food a good amount of water actually and a decent amount of food all right so continuing on there's our greenhouse again continuing on to this other tower containment tower like i said just your basic containment i have a few found a few eggs to put in there for you guys just to let it so you guys can see but um yeah i didn't want to put too many because of the lag I uh, I found out that if you put have one containment, it's just like nothing but eggs and different things in there. Uh, it will like lag your game. So less is more in this case. And uh, last but not least, we have security here. Now, when I say security, I mean uh, you have to use your imagination a little bit. I try to be creative with my with what I'm given since I don't have that much stuff for decoration. So pretend that uh, this picture frame is a computer monitor. And then uh, pretend that they're live feeds that they're looking at. So they're monitoring uh, the base and like what it looks like. So I have different angles of my base. Unfortunately, my hands did get caught in there. Whoops. <laughs> Photo bomb. <laughs> but yeah, just different angles. And um, oh, that one's the same picture. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, well, they're working on the same. They're monitoring the same uh, camera. Oh, well. So yeah, just I like to just use my imagination, and pretend that they're computer monitors instead of picture frames in this case. So this is security, where all the make sure nothing bad is happening in our base. I always like to come through my containment and then up and out. I just think it's cool. Um. So yeah, guys, it's our base. It's quite uh, quaint. But it suits my needs, like if I was down here farming, which, by the way, there's tons of resources down here. Tons of resources down here. Like, in, in places that you wouldn't think. Now, one thing I will tell you, there's a lot of down here that you guys will like, is diamond. Diamonds. So much. So much. Now, there is a lot, but if you were to build a scanner room, like I did... Uh, you would definitely find them a lot easier. I mean, you can just come down here and just look with your eyeballs and find them pretty easy. They're pretty much everywhere. Um, but, uh, yeah. Let's go back out. Give you guys a tour. I always like to give end with, you know, a view of, from outside. So, as you can see, it's very, it was very tightly packed here. Where I built my base, so everything's like just super tight in weird spots too. Like nothing makes any sense. Uh, I was just building where what was that creepy noises in the deep. I was just building where there was space. Um, and it doesn't look like it, but there is lots of um, like hidden, like invisible walls or invisible borders for for things like this root here. See, here's a piece of diamond. This root here, like, it's just like, it sticks out more than it looks, you know what I'm saying? So do those uh, twisty bridges. So yeah, diamond. Tons of diamond everywhere. Now, I do need to be careful because I am playing on hardcore. Okay, we have plenty of air. Playing on hardcore, so um, I need to be careful with my air. But uh, yeah, there's a vent right here. Like I said, it's uh, not that hot, honestly. And, uh, like, this is just, this is actually a pretty cool spot, the Twisty Bridges. I mean, because look at this. A huge Twisty Bridge right here. And if you didn't have 
you know, um, nuclear power yet, and you just had thermal, I mean, you could still put vents down here, but like I said, it's not super hot, but you could just put multiple thermal vents and you'll be fine. So you'll be fine with power. 40 is plenty. You just got to use a bunch of them. But uh, yeah, this, this bomb is pretty creepy. Pretty creepy, guys. So I'm going to end it here and just say thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a good evening, morning, night, wherever you're at. Hope you can check out some of my other uh, videos and uh, playlists. I have links in the description. Let me know what you guys think. I'd love to hear from you. Please, please stop by any time. Uh, be sure to subscribe. I'm posting videos every day for you guys. Every day I'm posting a video and doing videos for you guys. So would love it, love it, love it if you guys stop by uh, sometime on uh, Twitch and come, come say hi. So... Thank you, everybody. Have a good one, and I will see you in the next video. Only a couple left. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.